I'm Frederick Bartels. Thanks for watching. This is part two in our series on how to check your boiler. Again, these videos are not designed to allow you to repair your boiler. The purpose of these videos is just to give you some tools so that you can kind of check your boiler and you'll know when something is wrong, when uh, something has gone wrong on the system and you've got some kind of an issue. You always want to have a qualified repair technician from a reputable company check, service, and repair your boiler. Okay, today we're going to look at expansion tanks. What are they? What are they for? What do they do? An expansion tank is on your boiler to prevent a pressure buildup. When there's a call for heat and the burners on your boiler fire, the water begins to heat and then the water expands as it heats. The expansion tank allows the water a place to expand into. Without an expansion tank, the pressure in the boiler would build up very rapidly. Your boiler also has a pressure relief valve installed on it that's set at 30 PSI. So if the boiler pressure reaches 30 PSI, the relief valve should open, let out some water, and relieve the pressure. Inside your expansion tank is a diaphragm. On one side of the diaphragm is the boiler water. On the other side of the diaphragm is an air charge, usually set at 12 PSI. When a def uh, an expansion tank goes bad, the diaphragm sometimes will rupture, allowing the whole tank to fill with water, or perhaps the air charge will be lost and the diaphragm will then expand up into the top of the tank. In any case, when an expansion tank is defective, when there's a call for heat and the burners kick on on your boiler, the pressure will begin to build up pretty quickly and it will trip the relief valve and you'll see water leaking out of the relief valve. So that's the symptom of a defective expansion tank. Water dripping out of the relief valve, especially when the burners are on. Of course, you could just have a defective relief valve that's just dripping, but usually when the expansion tank goes bad, the relief valve is going to let out water and many times an old relief valve will continue to drip. So what about replacing the tank? A technician needs to consider several factors when replacing an expansion tank. He'll need to consider the the boiler feed valve, sometimes called the pressure reducing valve. You'll need to consider the relief valve as well as the tank and setting up the tank properly with the correct air charge in the tank. If you have an older relief valve on your boiler, the technician should go ahead and replace it. If you have an older feed valve on your boiler, the technician should go ahead and replace it. These valves are in contact with water, which means they're going to be prone to sediment buildup and, and you know, uh, water uh, erosion, so to speak. You know, water is very hard on things. So those valves should be replaced unless they're really very new. And your relief valve should be checked regularly. Technicians will trip the relief valve with the lever on top and make sure the relief valve works freely, that it's not jammed. However, if it's an older valve, it should be replaced. If the lever is tripped on a relief valve and it's an older valve, it will often continue to leak. So it's best just to replace an older valve with a new valve. And then your relief valve should be checked on an annual basis. And similarly, your boiler feed valve should re be replaced if it's an older valve because they tend to have the same kind of problems. Sediment gets under the seat and they'll open and let in a little water and then they won't shut down as they should and they will overpressure your boiler. So if you notice a leaking relief valve, it could be that your feed valve is defective, which is another reason why you want to have a qualified technician check out your system. So in summary, your expansion tank is there to prevent a pressure buildup when the boiler fires. Symptoms of a defective tank are a leaking relief valve and a pressure buildup when the burners come on. Note that a pressure rise when the burners fire is normal. Usually you'll get a pressure rise of a few PSI and that's normal. But if the pressure rises very rapidly up to 30 PSI and the relief valve opens, that's a good indication that you have a bad expansion tank. Thanks for watching and watch for part three in the series when we'll take a look at your boiler venting system.